These men are about to set off on one of the more dangerous roads in northern Iraq. They are Peshmerga, troops of the Kurdistan Autonomous Region. We're heading outside the safe Kurdish area to Sinjar, a small isolated town near the Syrian border, about 100 kilometers from the city of Mosul. I'm given my orders to stay down low and not to open the tinted windows under any circumstance. We're going to see the survivors of the world's third most deadly act of terrorism since September 11. The victims were Yazidis, a tiny and ancient religious sect who have lived in these parts for thousands of years and have been persecuted for almost as long. These temples were built by Yazidis, descendants of sun worshippers, theirs is one of the world's oldest religions, blending elements of Judaism, Christianity, Islam and Zoroastrianism. Ancient monasteries and temples mark the centre of Yazidi worship here in La Lesh. Mahmoud Suleiman, a Yazidi, invited me to film inside the temples. Yazidis worship an angel in the form of a blue peacock, believing this peacock angel to be the ruler of the universe. But because this angel is believed by Christians and Muslims to be Lucifer, the fallen angel, the Yazidis have been labelled as devil worshippers. <laughs> This, and their rejection of Islam, have made them a target for persecution. <laughs> Once numbering in their millions, today there are estimated to be only about 100,000 Yazidis left, mainly living in small towns in northern Iraq. <laughs> Suffering forced relocation and discrimination under Saddam Hussein, the Yazidi community had high hopes after the United States overthrew the dictator in 2003. But life post-Saddam has been much worse. This closely guarded home belongs to the Yazidi religious leaders, the Baba Sheikh and his son, Prince Tassim. 
فيريدون يمحون الكل وكلهم يصبحون كإسلام هذا شيء ما ممكن Prince Tahseen believes Sunni extremists are behind the many attacks on his people. At 7.15 p.m. on Tuesday, 14th of August, 2007, three cars in a tanker drove into two Yazidi towns on the outskirts of Sinjar. <laughs> in a coordinated attack, all four vehicles exploded. Dateline has been given this never-before-seen footage of the scene the day after the attack. At the time, it was estimated that around 500 people were killed, most when their mud and stone huts collapsed at the force of the blast. The American military now estimate the final toll to be 796 people killed. All this area is Arab. Many Kurds and Yazidis fear that the local Iraqi police are involved in the attacks against them. Haval Dahil, in charge of our security, is the son of a local Yazidi leader. ليرا عبوتي ناسف ترقي عندك كسل الشرطة كاني كجران كآخر كده سك أو سيتره كدستي هبو لو ترقي نوايا. We reached the scene of last year's blasts. Where did the car blow up? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
أفا نافيوي أفين حيدر تطر علي أفا نافيوي أفين حيدر تطر علي بيش بري مهات أزل ملي خوفكم فاجري وأفا ذرغام وهبية هر دوجي زاروكي مبون هر دو زاروكي مبون خاني بسر هر دو عدكات أف قسرة أف قسرة بسر مالامنا ديدكات مالامنا البشت في قسرة دابو they tell me there are 70 to 80 missing people believed to be still under the remains. Naava, na kaharaba, na qasr, na sarishana ka. Tishte hadish ve nahiye jira. With little left except their faith, the Yazidi wonder why their plight has been ignored by the world. والله دو عام مكيل كوم از دي بسرب كابن وام امج بي واكي خلقه كيف كينا مع امنياتك هبت ام حق خكين ودو عاش قدي كان حب وصاو سلامات بينو شكي ما بيت شيبت و حرام اما نازعين لو اهتمام بموضوع عنك يعني براسي اما نازعين لو لو كسك يعني نهار كسك بكجري يعني أزيد بدري لها لندن لأمريكا لهرجك لولاد خاني يعني اهتمامك يزور يادي لو ذاك الصالانة إزدي ممنون بتاريخي بكونوا حقوقين كلا ولا كلا دروا دري ممنون بس بيجي لو بإنسان يزدي إنسان إيش فقير إنسان كي بی مشکل نه لهامو دزیو لهامو عالم دز وقتی ازیده بین دزان انسانش فقیره انسانک بس حذیده جان کوتاه